Free Science Lessons Microscopy Cells are studied using microscopes. Microscopes let us see things that we cannot see with the naked eye. The microscopy techniques we can use have developed over the years as technology and knowledge have improved. Light microscopes use light and lenses to form an image of a specimen and magnify it. They let us see individual cells and large subcellular structures like nuclei. However, electron microscopes use electrons instead of light to form an image. Electron microscopes also have a higher resolution. Resolution is the ability to distinguish between two points, so a high resolution gives a sharper image. As well as that, electron microscopes let us see much smaller things in more detail, like the internal structure of mitochondrial chloroplasts. They even allow us to see things like ribosomes and plasmids. You need to be able to use the formula for magnification. You can calculate the magnification of an image using the formula provided. Image size and real size should have the same units. If they don't, you'll need to convert them first. If you want to work out the image size or the real size of the object, you can rearrange the equation using this formula triangle. Worked example, a specimen is 50 micrometers wide. Calculate the width of the image of the specimen under a magnification of 100. Pause the video to answer this question and remember to provide all your working out. Here I've provided some steps that will help you answer this question. Here is the working out and the answer. Remember, to convert from micrometers to millimeters, you need to divide by a thousand. You need to know how to work with numbers in standard form. As microscopes can see such tiny objects, sometimes it is useful to write numbers in standard form. This is where you change very big or small numbers with lots of zeros into something more manageable. To do this, you need to move the decimal point left or right. The number of places the decimal moves is then represented by a power of 10. This is positive if the decimal point is moved to the left and negative if it is moved to the right. Worked example, a mitochondrion is approximately 0.0025 mm long. Write this figure in standard form. Pause the video to answer this question and remember to provide all your working out. Here I've provided some information that will help you answer this question. Here is the answer. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like and share.